and good afternoon YouTube. We're live again. Two videos in one day. What's going on? I still feel shit. I'm still dying, but never mind. We've got a 2009 2 litre diesel Volvo V50. Logging these air codes. 2263 boost pressure control signal faulty. Boost pressure too high. Boost pressure signal high. Don't worry about the last one. I've caused that. So. Yes, let me just show you what we've got. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just turn this off for a second. So you can actually hear me. Right, so what we've got. Boost sensor right there on the on the rail. Give me a meter. Right, meter on. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're looking at so we've got a three-wire sensor. So we should have a five volt, a ground, and a signal. Hey up, Saren. So we've got a ground connected up there to a meter. And then we've got this little fella here. So all we're gonna do, almost 11 p.m. Stephen, get yourself off home, mate. Right, so let's have a look. What we, let's get that meter in. So can you, yeah, you can see that now. Right, so what we'll do is, we don't really care what wire does what, so we'll just go down them. Wire number one. Zero volts. Wire number two, 4.76. Wire number three, Four point seven six. Right, so we shouldn't have four point seven six volts key on. This one I'm in now. That's my actual signal wire. So all we're going to do, you can see I've got a back probe in there already because I don't want any connection issues. So four point seven six volts there. We're going to have a look at boost pressure key on. And my laptops died. Oh, brilliant. Come on, start up again, baby. Why would my battery just die all of a sudden there now? <sighs> yep, it has its died. Alright, oh, okay, well that's that video screwed. All I'm going to show you is using the Ditex, using the actual Ditex uh, Auto Sim Centre Simulator from TFA Solutions. What we're going to actually do is get it up, mate. What we're going to do is fire that into there, into that signal wire. I'll tell you what I can do. I can just quickly grab another tool out my van day off tomorrow Anzac day nice one good lad let's just grab another tool quickly so we can get some boost pressure you know what I forgot that'll do it quick I'll do little loan CRP one two three Sorry for this, best laid plans of mice and men and all that. Laptop decided to die. So plug a little plug the little launch in. Alright, diagnose. Scan. Volvo, come on Volvo. Sorry I'm not looking at the screen but <laughs> uh, manual select system. What did I say? It was a V50. Didn't I? There we 
go, read data stream. Okay. Hold on, it's boost pressure. There's boost pressure de desired. Boost pressure. You're right there. Right. Turbo mass airflow boost pressure device desired. It's not gonna be atmospheric, is it? There we go, intake manifold pressure, that'll do. Right, so you can see there it's reading. 2,500, two and a half bar basically. So what we're going to do with this Ditex simulator, dead easy, we've got a battery connection, then going straight into the sig wire there, 2.4 volts. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, hit the green button, 2.4 volts on there. There we go. So that proves the wiring's intact. What that tells us is that sensor is kaput. Nice and easy. Ditex sem sensor simulator from TFA or, uh, TFA Solutions, and uh, there we go. Yeah, so that's this is car number six. We're on uh, 